Okay, having done the risk assessment and analysis, we are now to risk management proper. And once again, we are back to the list and I, I am repeating myself. Yes, I'm quite aware of that, but that, this is the heart of your job. Deciding on risk acceptance, risk avoidance, risk mitigation or remediation. That's that's where we talk about, you know, that's, that's what we think what we're doing. But remember that acceptance and avoidance are... Uh, you know, a part of the equation here. And, and of course, risk transfer, <clears throat> if that is even possible. And it may not be. It may not be realistic. So, risk acceptance is, uh, is a decision. It should not just be a default position because we are ignorant of the actual situation. We, we need to look at uh, the costs. We need to look at the potential threat, the potential risk, the potential loss, and the benefits for taking the risk. Does the benefit outweigh any possible loss? Is the loss acceptable? It, do we get to a position where the, the loss... Uh, can be accommodated. Uh, so, all of these issues uh, need to be considered before we decide whether or not we are going to accept the risk. Uh, do we have the ability to uh, deal with any losses? Um, now, uh, it, it may be a pain decision, you know, can we accept, you know, uh, can we tolerate the loss? Uh, will we survive if, if we lose something when we have accepted a particular risk? Um, sometimes it's a visibility decision, you know, I, I, can our reputation survive? If we take uh, a loss, you know, there is loss of reputation involved here as, as well as financial losses. Uh, so it, it but it, it should be a decision. It must be a decision. It, it must be a calculation. It's not just, oh, well, this sounds good. Um, now, unfortunately, I mean, you know, we talked about... Uh, qualitative risk analysis and and that is you know effectively what we're doing but do it with um some planning some forethought some analysis uh, a little bit of thought uh, rather than just oh sounds good and we don't know what the risks are so let's do it you know there's an awful lot of failed companies that made their decisions on that kind of basis um so, you know, examine the risk, see what the risk is, what the potential risks, because there usually are multiple risks from any decision. And, you know, is it, is it worth it? Uh, so that's the thing. Now, now you know, in, in the same way, uh, risk avoidance, and unfortunately, we, we seem to be much more prone to taking risks than, than avoiding risks. But again, uh, risk avoidance is, um, you know, is this too dangerous for us? We won't uh, get involved in it. But, I, I mean, there's, there's an awful lot of the, you know, not invented here syndrome, for example. Somebody suggests a, a program or an activity and... Uh, yeah, you know, we could do that, and, and there could be a benefit to us, but mm, we never have tried that. Uh, you know, nobody's, nobody's ever done it that way. We've, we've always done it another way. Um, you know, we, we lose the potential benefit. You know, yes, there is a risk involved, but uh, 
we're not doing it. And I, I mean, I see all kinds of situations where uh, people look at uh, companies, look at uh, a situation and, well, you know, uh, we've we've always done it this way, and it doesn't work terribly well. But we'll continue to do that. I mean, you know, as uh, they say, uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And you know, uh, so you know, it, risk avoidance also should be analytically based. Uh, then, of course, there's all the stuff that we do in mitigation, remediation, our safeguards, our controls, our countermeasures, all of this kind of stuff, uh, which we see as the bulk of our job. And, and it is. I mean, you know, it's all the details that we have to do uh, for the most part. But um, it, it needs to be backstopped by the acceptance and avoidance and, if possible, transfer conditions. Now, again, I've, I've talked about risk transfer uh, and insurance and the fact that, boy, you've got to be really careful with uh, insurance um, in terms of dealing with uh, the fine print, um, the uh, particularly cyber insurance these days. There's, you know, all kinds of... of uh, tricks and traps that they uh, put into the policies uh, and you would be amazed at what you are not covered for um, don't think insurance is just transferring all your risk to somebody else it's definitely not um, and and we've talked about uh, you know the food delivery uh, type idea and actually transferring your risk the risk of the situation to somebody else Ah, and I have a good stopping point here.